silence, literally the silence, no aeroplanes, the traffic um, being much quieter. And it made me very introspective about a time in my life when I was nine years old when something happened that changed my life forever. And uh, the sort of um, the time that I had at the beginning of the pandemic sort of allowed the, the noises of my home city, Belfast, to come back into my head. And so the story started to flow out. The actors. There's one particular new actor that you had a great time. He's very talented. Jude Hall. Can you talk to us about that? Yeah, Jude is uh, Jude Hill is Jude, um, Hill. Jude Hill. You know, he's uh, a brilliant young young actor. He's uh, he was 10 years old. Now 11. Uh, 10 when we filmed it. Uh, very present, very funny, very playful. And he carries the film on his shoulders. He's, he has the capacity to listen beautifully, so he's someone who you're interested to watch even when he's just reacting, which is one of the secrets of great film acting, is just to react. But he has greatness to react to because his grandmother's played by Judy Dench, Kieran Hines, Jamie Dornan, Katrina Valve, beautiful group of people who bring a humor that the city has and the story has uh, that centers around this young man and it was a joy to watch them all sort of gel together. Why in black and white and not color? Uh, black and white for me, everybody looks better in black and white, you know, <laughs> but it has, it carries this sense of sort of mystery of the past, it's playful, it's, it's make-believe and I was very much influenced by black and white Hollywood films growing up. You see that in the film, a love of movies is absolutely run through, especially black and white. But color also features and it's partly the explosion of color in the boy's imagination as he runs to the movies to try and deal with some of the trauma and the violence that occurs around him. So the balance between the two was important. But the black and white brings a poetic quality to something that is a kind of memory piece. Thank you, sir. we got to get going. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Kevin. Hi. Um, I'm curious to know uh, what advice do you have for young filmmakers? What advice we have for young filmmakers is practice any time you can, in every way. And so, uh, if you're a young filmmaker, watch films as much as you can. Do everything that you can for free. Anything that you can do for free, do for free. And practice in, in any way. Watch films, um, read screenplays if you can, if you can have access to them, but find them wherever they are. Um, if you, and whatever discipline that you're involved with, try and practice it. So if you're writing, write, keep writing, do it, make it a habit. Practice, 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 so that if that moment comes along when you get a chance to um, make something, whether it's very, very uh, informally and rudimentarily, um, brilliant work is done in the most, with the most basic kinds of uh, equipment or you know, cameras, phones, whatever. Uh, but do, 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 do. Yeah, and, and combine that with studying as hard as you can. What was the most challenging part about taking this from the pre production to the production? Covid. Covid. Uh, we, everybody who came onto this film uh, tested for two weeks before they arrived. They tested every single day. Um, it was the first film out of lockdown back in the UK, and um, and we everybody was a little scared. You know, we had to adjust and amend and uh, and and get get used to um, masks, uh, people, the props, people going into the set coming out, the electricians going into the set coming out, all of that being structured a three zone color coded route to the set that had to be one way. There was a lot of logistical challenges, but um, um, you know, freedom is having no choice. So we had no choice and we created a freedom out of that creatively, which worked great for the film. You come from sort of a theater background. What do you think about virtual reality and you know, that medium? Uh, I think uh, we're still in a way at the beginnings of what's possible uh, with that really. I think uh, any imaginative way to tell a story is exciting. Any pioneering um, technology that helps us you know, get to a to great piece of storytelling uh, is, is uh, exciting. So um, I think if the story's good, then I'm happy to see it in any medium and, and all the advances in that particular area of technology are very exciting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.